Hey, you can see that's here. I'm currently away. I am overseas hopefully enjoying myself at the Edinburgh Yarn Festival. But because it's St. Patrick's Day weekend, I wanted to put out a few videos for you of some FOs that totally apply to green. I mean, St. Patrick's Day, I'm sure, has religious roots and is not just about going to the bar or dyeing the river green, as was the case in my hometown. But I know that you know, the universal thing we know about St. Patrick's Day is we wear green. So I uh, made, uh, I had to make a hat. Every once in a while, I go through my stash and I realize I buy a lot of green yarn, but I don't really use it. So I'm often drawn to green, but then I don't, I don't necessarily make anything out of it. I mean, I've made the knit collage vest. I've made a little um, alpaca sweater. I made beneath the pines, which you saw, but um, I just have this green yarn. So I went stash diving and I wanted to try to figure out something to make. So I have this very bright Hudson Valley Sheep and Wool Company yarn. It's Josephine. It's 100% merino, 160 yards, and it's just called number 627, so it doesn't have like a fancy name, but I picked this up when I did my tour of their um, farm and shop, which I will put a link to that down below. And then also in my stash, I noticed this sock yarn that actually is uh, a lot of alpaca. It's called Alpaca Socks, S-O-X. So there's like quite a bit of alpaca in there, but also some wool and nylon. And I was like, do I have time to make socks? Probably not. Do I want to make hand warmers? What do I want to do? And I ended up just pairing them together. And I made this hat. So this hat is called, hey, I want to make sure I get it right. This hat is called Hodgepodge Ear Flap Hat, Hodgepodge Ear Flap Hat by Kelly McClure. I am super proud of my pom-pom. Let's just talk about my pom-pom because you guys, I'm getting better at pom-poms. The trick is you have to cut more. Just keep cutting, just keep cutting. So this is a, a pattern on Ravelry, it was $4. And she, I know that she designed this. She says she designed it with knit collage in mind, speaking of knit collage, because a lot of times you want the knit collage yarn, but you find that you just can only afford maybe one skein at that particular moment. Knit collage actually has a hat similar to this, but it's for uh, a bit of a bulkier weight, I believe. So. I went looking for something else and this really stood out to me. It's a very quick knit. It's done on size 15 needles. There are two sizes, small and large. I did not meet gauge, so I knew I had to make the large because otherwise it was going to be too small. And I just combined the two fabrics together. So you can kind of see that pop of the alpaca socks in there. Just kind of gives it a little more texture than just the crazy, crazy bright. And then I mixed the two together when I did the braid. and the tassel and the pom pom. So I just kept a nice mix the whole time and there's a crochet border and the pattern teaches you how to crochet but if that is off putting to you, you probably don't need to do it but it does like fold a little bit, it will roll a little bit if you don't put the crochet border on. I like it, it's kind of light, like it's, it's gonna do the job, like it'll be warm but it's also kind of light if it's not cold enough to wear a hat on St. Patrick's Day. And I just think when you're going to wear like neon green on your head, it should be a bit of a little bit different than your average hat. So I love the ear flaps. I love the ties. I mean, maybe I'll just tie it right now. Who cares? I love the pom pom. I toyed with doing two pom poms, but I'm like, no, that's a little too much. <laughs> a little too much, right? So I love it. Go check it out. It's fast. It's fun. It's a little different than your normal just like brimmed hat. And uh, I know you have just skeins of yarn sitting there looking at you like, what are you going to do with me? What are you going to do? Knit me up. Knit me up now. So it's a really quick, fast project. And you could probably finish it today in time for the St. Patrick's Day weekend. You can do it. Thanks for checking in to Christy Loves Knits. I'll see you next time.